Hey guys, it's Dr. Eric, and we are going to be looking at this problem again. Now, as a reminder, and we talked about this previously in the quadratics, they give you these three formulas. This vertex form tells you the vertex, the max, the min, the max or the min, as well as the axis of symmetry. The factored form tells you the roots, the solutions, or the zeros. Now, they were very generous and only gave you factored forms. So really, all you're doing is typing in the graph and matching it. That's it. So we're going to start and do our f of x to stand for our first equation, which is x squared plus 8x plus 15. And then we're going to type in letter a. Instead of me writing f of x again, I'm going to write a of x for letter a, but then keep everything else the same. When I do that, I notice that they're two different graphs, so it's not letter A. Then I'm going to do B of X for choice B. And when I do that, I'm going to turn off letter A, and I'm going to really zoom in. I mean, those look like the same graph to me. Look, I'm going to turn off B, green, blue, it's the same thing. So we know the answer choice is letter B. But because we're good mathematicians, let's turn and type in letter C. And again, the only thing is, is instead of me writing f of x, I'm just writing c of x because I'm typing in choice c. And when I do that, those are two different graphs, so it can't be that one. And then d of x, I don't know why I made that capital, is x plus 1, x plus 15. And those are obviously different graphs as well. So the only one that matches the green one is the black one. So the correct answer is choice b. Then it says, Based on that, which one of those represents the minimum of the function, which means it's going to look like the vertex form. So all I'm going to do is type these in. So instead of this, I'm going to delete that and type in x plus 4 squared minus 1. And we need to turn that graph on. And right there, the green and the red graph are the same, so you know that the answer is letter A. But... Let's type the other ones in. For letter B, we have x plus 3 quantity squared. Well, we can definitely see the green and the black aren't the same graph, so it's not going to be letter B. Let's type in letter C. We have x plus 2. Whoops. Use the little undo button. We've got x plus 2 quantity squared plus 3. i got to zoom out to show you that. Well, I don't have to zoom out. I need to turn the graph on. Those are different graphs, so it's not letter C. And let's check out letter D. We have x plus 1 squared plus 8. And again, those are two different graphs. So that's why the correct answer is letter A, because it's the only one that has the correct equation matching our first equation, our f of x equation. All right. Bye, guys.